One of the most memorable moments in Nier Automata is at the start of the second playthrough. After the explosive climax at the end of the first campaign, the game brings its story focus away from the almost super-powered protagonists, and instead of opening up on some high-octane action and speedy movement, you're brought down to the level of a rusted, lowly robot, sitting in the remnants of some factory. He's trying to wake up his brother, dead and unresponsive. He says that he'll get him some oil. So, briefly, you take control of this small robot, and you slowly steer him toward a pipe that's gushing out some oil. He moves painfully slowly. It's a far cry from the movement speed of the game's protagonists. Where 2B's movement is smooth and cathartically graceful, the robot's movements are rigid, stiff, and again, painfully slow. These robots that you spent the entirety of the first playthrough slashing your way through are here shown to be almost barely worth the effort of killing. The game's almost snickering at the player, laughing at you as you slowly carry this bucket of oil to the brother's dead body. If the game was snickering and chuckling under its breath as you slowly walk, it's a full outburst of laughter once the game watches the player trip on some scrap on the ground, spilling the oil. The robot remains determined and then you again pick up the bucket to refill it. This time, careful to step around the refuse on the ground, the robot finally makes it back to his brother after what feels like an eternity of slow walking, but was really only a couple seconds. Excitedly exclaiming to his brother that he's returned with the oil, it does nothing. The brother's robot is to both us, the player, and the protagonist very obviously dead. It's a moment that only lasts a couple seconds, but it's always been a cold, stark reminder of what the game's been about. It's about the pointlessness and futility of life, the extents that we will go through in this overpoweringly uncaring universe to find some reason to keep going. Even if it's all for naught and it's painful, this is all you get. It's a powerful moment that I feel has connected on some level with all people who have played it. Seeing that the game was brought universal praise and won several awards for its narrative and its soundtrack, the game is overwhelmingly seen love on almost every level. Its themes, voice acting, the soundtrack again, which is an absolute banger, it's a game that I appreciate on almost every level of its conception. It's a shame about the game part though. <laughs> Nier Automata is such a great game. Its music kicks so much of 2B's massively and overly exposed rump. Its world and themes are awesome and ask some really big important questions like, why are we here? I don't know man, but it keeps me up at night. It's so good and I love what it says and what it does, but the gameplay... It kind of sucks. It's extremely tedious and simple and overly repetitive and you have to play the game's campaign like three to four times before you get to all the really interesting stuff the game has to show, uh, I think. But more on that later. It's an opinion I might get some backlash for considering its creator Platinum Games is pretty much an auteur of melee combat. But Nier Automata was such a bizarre experience. It's practically begging on its hands and knees screaming at me to please just like it but man I just can't get over how much I don't actually enjoy the game part. The best way to describe the combat is imprecise. Even after several playthroughs and almost 25 hours in the game, I still never really feel like I know exactly what 2B is going to do when I hit the attack button. It may come down to the floaty, disconnected weapons or a sufficient lack of a lock-on button, but I'm just going to say it's both. It's probably both. They both contribute to it. And the boss fights go on for way too long and they just feel like massive damage sponges and I swear to god if I have to fight this robot rock ball thing again, I may just end up snapping my copy of the game in half. I don't like the bullet hell sections, they're not fun or challenging, and they just feel like massive wastes of time. In moments where the game positions them as massive, large-scale battles, they lack the spectacle or challenge to make me really care. Look at me, I'm, I'm literally not even moving. And with some power-ups you get when you kill enemies, you regenerate your health, so I literally don't need to move. I can just continue to sit here forever. The game often will pull back the camera to make certain moments take on a bullet hell style or side-scrolling platforming, and I hated it almost every time it did it. It makes it hard to see what's going on in boss fights and it just slows everything down. Also, this might be me projecting a bit, but the game's pretty easy even on harder difficulties. I just breezed through the first two campaigns in a single afternoon and I know I said the game gets more interesting in the third and fourth campaigns, but I don't really know that for sure because I didn't even get to the third one because I was so done and out by the second that I don't want to play it anymore. I give the game the benefit of the doubt because maybe it really does step up in the third or fourth or however many playthroughs the game has. And if I, after putting 25 hours in 
listening to it across several different playthroughs, trying my hardest to find a reason to like the game, I can't bring myself to put two more playthroughs into a game that I just simply don't enjoy the core gameplay of. It's an opinion I have that's maybe a little harsh and overly unfair, but the reason I gave such a loving and long description of the game at the start of this video was because I wanted to show that I really did love and appreciate the game. I don't speak super highly of games super often, it's just the reality of the situation, but my expectations were so high because of all the critical reception online, the great visuals, the game's themes, and the, the, the soundtrack in this game is so freaking good, and it was all in service to a game that I was practically on the verge of turning off almost the whole time. I was messaging my friends literally in my most recent playthrough, talking about how just annoying the game is. I know I'm in the minority on that opinion, but I'm not going to start reverberating what everyone else says about the game because I think it would boost my reputation and my gamer credit score. It's a game that when I see and look at everything surrounding it, I go, man, it's a shame about the game part, though. God, that was dumb. Who would watch a video about this? It must be like a real stupid idiot to watch a video like- Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. My apologies. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, I appreciate you coming along, and especially for sticking through all the weird crap. Uh, please be nice to me in the comments. Uh, I know Nier was a very popular game, and I don't have the nicest things to say about it, but, you know, I still really do enjoy the game. It's just I despise its existence because it makes me sad because it could have been a much better game than it was. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, check me out on Twitter, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.